So this was a really exciting day because we left our condo to go exploring. We went to this reservoir. It took a long way to get there through subways and it was a bunch of subways and a bunch of different stops. It was nice to explore different areas because you all will see at one point where we take a one of the trains which is above ground and it was so bright in there that me and Joy had to put on our sunglasses so that was definitely a change of scenery from what we normally do and Sundays here you'll see me say later in the video that Sundays are actually a super busy day in public here whereas like in the United States it's usually dead anywhere you go but here the foreign domestic workers are always off work on these days so these days can be super crowded and I'm surprised that the reservoir park we go to, you all see later on in the video, that it wasn't super crowded because I was expecting it to be. And maybe because the fact that the reservoir we went to is pretty difficult to get to, that could definitely play a part in it. But see, look, there's an exposed uh, train platform here. Bright, sunshiny day. It's nice to have really good weather here for this. It rained a little bit, but drizzling, and it was not, not an issue. So that was nice. Hi, we're at uh, Ordo Park. I don't haven't even looked on the map. I don't even know where we are. We're in Northwest Singapore. Um, this place is a 24-hour park where there's uh, fishing and prawn fishing parks in these ponds over here. It says there's a lot of tortoise museum. There's exorbitant amounts of food and such. But um, there's paintball, and we're gonna walk around and go explore and try to spend a nice day not being inside cooped up, so we're gonna go snooping around and see what they got here. I was surprised that a lot of these businesses weren't super busy at this point because it was a really nice day and it was Sunday afternoon, but it might be something COVID related. Uh, we're not sure about that. But some of these places were open because we did have truffle fries. I had a really nice view of the fishing pond that's right, right here straight ahead. And um, we didn't really feel like fishing. We don't know how to do that, but we went snooping and exploring around and just enjoyed the beautiful views of this lake here where it was people catching fish. And it's super nice, there's coconut trees everywhere. It was really great. You could rent fishing poles and rent bait. And it was really nice and they had people that could teach you how to do it as well. And it's either catch and release, or I think you can keep what you caught too. So this was really nice just to hang out here. It's nice to get out of the condo. There was a bunch of outdoor activities do here. And one of the things right here was, that was super crowded and there was a line for was prawn fishing. So this is definitely the most crowded popular thing going on here. And it's nice and as you can see, it's covered by the roof. I'm sure that's another reason why people went to do that. And then we went across the street to get to the reservoir park here, which was amazing and there's kayakers and it was great. You hear me going on a monologue here about it. So. Lower Selatar Park. This place is really nice. I've never been here before. Joy's never been here before. There's a really nice fishing pier over here. There's some shelters over here. It looks like people are picnicking in. It looks like you can walk a, a long, long ways around this reservoir pond. There's definitely people kayaking and doing water sports. We saw people on the subway with uh, their own paddles and such. And it looks like there's plenty of shelter over here underneath the subway MRT line. It looks like there's plenty of shade. A little bit of drizzle but uh, this place looks nice the weather's cooled down since we had our truffle fries across the street we're good to go because we're like that and um, we're gonna go walking around and exploring this is super peaceful and Sunday on paper should be the busiest day of the week here because foreign domestic workers are off work 
but this place is not crowded at all, which makes it even better, especially with the social distancing, etc. So we don't have much to, to fear on that note, but we're gonna put our masks on and go exploring. Park, we're on the pier, and this is, from what I understand, all free public fishing. I don't think you need a license or anything like that. Um, there's a really nice kids' spray ground over here. We're gonna walk out over here to this covered pier. It looks like it could uh, deluge rain on us, but hopefully not when we're enclosed in the futuristic looking canopy over there. And now uh, we can get a good view of the kayakers over here and enjoy this peaceful tranquility and soak it all in. I'll live vicariously through them in the water, so uh, enjoy the views. Okay.